Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a brand new day. We're in a unit. We're starting relatively early for myself. Um, but yeah, let's crack on with the day. Just going to do a very nice day in the life of an eBay, Amazon and Vinted Pro. Guess we got that in. Reseller. So without further ado, enjoy the video. We got a mystery box sent to us. This is some of the items that are in question. This is really nice. It's really soft. Never heard of the um, brand, but it seems to be pretty good. Got some really nice pieces. We paid £5 per item, and this was inside it. A pair of darts. And I need some new ones, because that is currently my first set of darts this morning. Absolutely pathetic so not sure if we're going to sell them or use them i just realized i said a pair obviously they come in threes so yeah maybe kept for sure but thank you so much for sending in the mystery box you know who you are you're an absolute flipping legend um but yeah really nice mystery box indeed we're gonna get some of that stuff listed uh this week as well alongside all of that which if you saw yesterday's video, we had to empty the van and all that stuff behind me was inside the van. But yeah, going back to this mystery box, we've got some really nice pieces. So I'm gonna crack on with some of that. Um, and obviously that big, big pile behind us as well. Um, but yeah, happy days. Also in that mystery box was this, but I've also just had a look and it includes two booster packs. This only sells for about 15 pound on eBay. So I'm pretty tempted, you know what? Stuff it. We're going to rip them packs open. Two TCG booster packs. We're going to open it now. And these are the packs in question. We've got a pack of Twilight Masquerade and Temporal Forces. What I'll do is I'll show you the pool at the end. Because I don't know the card trick on this pack. I've not opened a pack of Pokemon cards since blimmin' lockdown. I'll tell you what. We picked a rare, shiny, fan favourite Alakazam and... Look at that beautiful thing, Infernape. Absolute beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I tell you what, that's probably worth about 10 to 12 pounds. So yeah, happy with that. We'll sell that and kind of the price of the pencil case to be fair. So happy with that. And it will go as a large letter. Well, even a letter if you went that far, but we'll probably large letter it up and you make sure it gets it. Look at that. That is an actually beautiful, beautiful card. All right, enough work, well, enough fun for the day so far. We played a little bit of darts um shocking as usual uh, to be fair we, to be fair it wasn't too bad and we've opened a pack or two of pokemon cards so let's get to work so we sold about 240 pounds worth of ebay stock overnight that's all packed up ready to go the big boxes stuff is already pre-packed um we try and pre-pack as much as possible and yeah that was nice easy stuff but a range of stuff was sold including some electronics some video games some clothing and predominantly trainers but yeah like i said a lot of our electronics and our bigger items are already pre-packed ready to go um just makes it a little bit easier when it comes to packing also got a couple of vintage orders which i'll show you now jurassic park on the game boy sold for i think nine pound sold a world of warcraft book cd and game that's been listed on ebay for about six months and sold within three days on vintage for 15 pound 50 which in the grand scheme of things is exactly how much we would have got if it sold on eBay minus the fees and postage. So yeah, absolutely beastie. Loving Vinted Pro. Absolutely buzzing for that. And the last item that I can show you that sold on Vinted was Resident Evil Code of Veronica X. That sold for £10, which is crazy. Items for Vinted have been packed. Let's get the labels. Oh, and yeah. I was editing a video while sorting out vintage orders. This stuff is going to Amazon, which we will sort out probably another day. Again, massive shout out to Next Level Resale, which is the company that I do own along with Sam for supplying the leads to where to get these from. Something like that will sell like 3,000 sales per month on Amazon and will profit like four or five quid per unit. So yeah, really nice um, return on investment as well. But uh, yeah, Amazon's probably left for another day because currently, this is currently my view and I really, 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 really want to get it sorted out. And I think we require a new bit of racking to help 
sort some of that out. So what we're going to do is build that rack in and put it here, which will then give us some space to put the Amazon stock, which is currently here. And that rack in also is all Amazon stock. So if we can get all that off, we can put more games onto that rack in. That's the plan anyway. So anyway, I'll catch you up once I get that built. We have Ed in today who is uh, currently listing. So what we're doing is I'm drafting. Um, Obviously, I'm going to build the rack in a minute. I'm drafting, and then he's going to list and photograph everything. Drafting with SKU systems, so you can just put it straight into the box. And hopefully, we can really, really ramp up some listings this week. I'm going to try and get some of these drafted as well. The Dazzle's brand new. The Armour Anniversary Edition is quite a nice game to be on the lookout for. We've got Quake, Commission Pack 1 and 2, and the Quake 2 game. IKEA, big advocate for IKEA stuff. So we're going to get them list, uh, drafted, and Ed's going to list them for us. As we speak, organising uh, shoes and clothing and footwear that needs cleaning or some work to it into this IKEA bag. So far, we found two bits that need just a little bit of a polish up, including them Clarks. Racking number one completed, hoping to get another one here, and that's what we're gonna do now. I'll catch you up when I've done the number one. And there we have it. Both racking have been built, and we've started to move the Amazon stock over to this racking, which is predominantly gonna be for Amazon goods in and this side of the rack is going to be for items i need to record a haul on so this is all for future video that's this is the stuff that we've got from the san francisco goodwill so yeah we've got youtube goods in that i need to record rack here and then we've got the amazon one here so yeah things are looking good next job is to go and get my car it's just been in the garage for an mot and full service past its mot with flying colors so I'm really happy with that. Let's go and pick that up now. And while we're there, we might as well drop the parcels off because it's next door. Car completed. Let's get back to the unit and carry on doing some work. We have made it back to the unit and I need to, and I, well, I don't need to, but I want to get that rack in full with the Amazon stock in the upper room. So let's go and do that now. Which is in fact this rack here. So I need to completely empty that onto the new rack. Right, check this out. This is all full of Amazon stock, all right? And I'll just open this box thinking it was Amazon stock and it's full of Nintendo Wii's. I must, it's like a breeding ground for Wii's in this unit. I couldn't even tell you how long we've had them Wii's for because I didn't even realize they were there. Right, the rack is empty. <laughs> we now got to sort all them and put them on them rack over there, which is gonna be a fun job. Alrighty then, look at that, a little bit of an update. PS3s, Nintendo Wii's, PS2. Odds and sods have not sorted that shelf out at the moment. Xbox 360, and then we've got Xbox One and PS4. But oh boy, and we're not even done yet, which is absolutely crazy to say. Because yes, look behind me. There's still loads to go. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm a bit tired today. Just found a bunch of uh, disc-only stuff as well, so yeah. Honest to God, oh my days, don't even look. <laughs> I thought I thought we were getting somewhere. Well, we are, we are, we are. Let's stay positive and uh, yeah. Lots of, lots and lots and lots have got done today, which is a really good thing because yeah, I was getting a bit skeptical and a bit scared of, of what was going on because there's just, Unbelievable. We were keeping hold of um, CX trading for Xbox originals because I didn't realise, because I thought we didn't have any. But like after organising, we've got like 20 there and probably like another 10 there. So what I might do is get all that scanned into CX and see if we can find anything that we can trade into CX. Um, <laughs> scanned all the Xbox original games and none of them are worth listing. Uh, listing, send it into ZX. So they're just going to go behind me on this beautiful rack in, all nicely organised. And then when we get Xboxes in, we'll uh, bundle all of them up and hopefully be able to push a little bit more money when listing Xbox original consoles. Like so. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Just going to wrap up now at the unit and call it a day. Probably going to do some work at home on the MacBook. Probably going to list 10 items on Vinted Pro and then go and get some dinner. So... Going to wrap up by showing you a couple of solds that sold in the last hour. So, two items 
I'll show you now. Sold Way of the Samurai 2 for $21.99. That has slowly gone up in price. That used to be like a tenner, what, two, three months ago? We then sold a pack of Malibu Sun Cream. We've only got 1,367 more to go. That sold for a tenner. This was a beautiful sale. A revitive board. Absolute stunner. Paid up, paid £40 at a local car boot. Sold it for £150. Definitely be on the lookout for Revitive Circulation Boards. They hold some incredible value. That is probably one of the basic models as well. You can get some crazy ones that are like three, four hundred pound RRP. They sell for like 250 plus. That one, nice basic one, 150 pound back in the kitty to reinvest into new stock or maybe my holiday. We will probably pack them up tomorrow because to be quite frank, I'm absolutely knackered. Yesterday didn't go to sleep till about three o'clock in the morning because of Prime Day, getting some deals for the next level resale Discord that I own. And yeah, absolutely shattered. So gonna go home, do 10 vintage um, listings and call it a day. Ed's been smashing it. He's done over something like 60, 70 items today, photographed. We drafted them up, he photographed them. Happy days. So it's nice 70 odd listings done for the day on eBay. Now I'm going to go home and list 10 on Vinted. But I would say we've had a really good productive day. The goods in section still looks a little bit chaotic, but we have done such a good job today. Really happy with where things are going. For now, it's time to go home and call it a day. We have made it home and we've uploaded 17 items through the wonderful zip sale. Just means we can cross list our eBay items onto Vinted so much more easier. And the reason why we do that is because it also automatically delists when the item sells either on eBay or Vinted, and that saves so much time. So if you're ever in the market for a cross listing website, especially now that Vinted Pro is out, uh, ZipSell is the one. I will leave a coupon code or code in the link in the description below. Um, I don't think I'm affiliated with them anymore. I'm not too sure if you get any benefits if you use my code. But if you would like to use my code, use that code. And um, yeah, just let me know if you use it. But yeah, honestly, ZipSell has been a game changer since Vinted Pro has come out. Uh, I just imported 16 items and I'm going to try and get as many of them done now. And then I'm going to go and get some dinner. Oh, and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. All 16 items has been listed on Vinted using ZipSell. Like I said, beautiful software. So good. Um, cross-listed 16 items within like 20 minutes so not too bad while I was watching some TV so I'm gonna end today's video there that is just a normal sort of day in the life of video and didn't do anything abnormal did listing organized some of the unit got some racking built uh, vintage orders eBay orders Amazon orders everything is kicking off for Q4 so if you did enjoy that video please let me know in the comment section below and if you're still here then please do me one favour because you must like the video. So please do like that video and I'll see you beautiful lot tomorrow. Thank you so much for the support. You guys are absolute legends, honestly. Love every single one of you who are, you know, are speechless. Honestly, you guys are the ones. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Bish bash flipping bosh.